In this video, we're going to look at another subtraction strategy, and this is the strategy of counting on. Often we talk about finding the difference when we're dealing with subtraction, and this is a strategy that often might be used to help you find the difference. If you can see the calculations on the board, we've got 18 take away 16 and 24 take away 21 that really the best time to use the counting on strategy is when you have got, you're taking away two numbers that are actually quite close. What I mean is 18 and 16 are quite close together. 24 and 21 are quite close together. And this is the perfect strategy when the numbers are close together. It's probably not the best strategy if the numbers are far apart because we have got other strategies that deal with that in a more efficient and a more accurate way. So let's talk about what we mean by counting on. We already associate counting on with an addition strategy, but it can also be used quite successfully for subtraction. Let me just talk about taking away or counting back. Of course, we could do that for this strategy. We could put 18 here and we could jump back in steps of one for 16. But how many steps you're gonna to have to jump back 16. It's a lot of opportunities. There are a lot of opportunities for inaccuracy. There are a lot of opportunities for miscalculating or miscounting and can be quite difficult to remain accurate in a, in a calculation such as this. Hence why counting on is a very good strategy. When we're talking about counting on and finding the difference, we always take the smallest number because we want to count on to the biggest number. So our smallest number in this case would be 16 and we're going to count on, we're going to find the difference between those two numbers. So 16, 17, 18. We're now going to look at how many steps we've actually made or how many jumps we've actually made and you can clearly see we've made two. So now we know that 18 take away 16 is 2. We can double check by counting backwards 18, 17, 16. And as you can see, counting on is perfect in this scenario because you're just doing two jumps and it's a very quick and efficient calculation. If you were to count back, it would take you a very long time and there's lots of opportunity for mistakes. So let me just go through that again. You're looking, first of all, identifying is this calculation suitable for this strategy? And yes, it is, because we've got the two numbers that are close together. We're identifying the smaller number because we want to count on to the bigger number, 21. And we're going to count on 21, 22, 23, 24. And you'll be wanting your child, again, to be going through this process mentally in their head. 21, 22, 23, 24. And of course we can see that it is three jumps and just double checking, 24, 23, 22, 21. The key to this method is really explaining to your child and ensuring that they understand that although they're counting on, they are still taking away, they are still finding the difference and actually using that terminology, using that vocabulary of finding the difference is quite important for this method and it's quite important to relate that word to this method. So just to recap, remember that we're using this strategy when two numbers are very close together, we're counting on from the smallest number to the biggest number and in as few steps as we possibly can.